So we just took a cab from the hotel. And we are here. <laughs> Which Stephanie is very happy about. And we are here at the Galleria Borghese, the Borghese Museum. This is my first time being here, so I have no idea what to expect. But it looks really big <laughs> and really pretty from the outside. Let's hope it's as nice on the inside. We're still walking down in search of the museum. There are people standing up there. I think this might be the museum entrance. Is this the museum entrance? Yes. Grazie. So it's not that busy, thank goodness. They don't open for another 15, 20 minutes. So we should go, be able to go right in. There's no line. It's not a very busy uh, tourist attraction, which is nice. The garden is lovely. There's a nice breeze. It's not too hot right now. It's uh, 20 minutes to nine in the morning. We're in the shade still, thank goodness. I'm gonna walk down here and shoot this video and see what this is. So we have a few minutes. I'm gonna walk down and see what these things are. I don't know what these buildings are, but they're so decorative and beautiful. Sorry if the camera's bouncing, I'm walking fairly quickly to get down here. So it's a long walk away. I love these little dragons. They were on the front of the gate. And they're here too. I love them. So this is the back side of that first building. <laughs> oh, the sun's in the way. There's like massive garden over there. Just actually it looks kind of like a golf course. <laughs> I know it's not a golf course, but that's what it looks like. Just rolling hills of grass. Look at this. Look at this building. This is coming around, oh my god, look at those dragons. This is coming around the back side of that building now. I have to walk down past it to get the whole thing in the shot. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. This is the little courtyard, and then on the other side of the courtyard is this freestanding wall with a gate in the center. There's another gate here, leading into what looks like more gardens. so much. Oh, they're awesome. Very, very cool. This is the building again, the far end of the building.
Very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to the museum entrance. <laughs> Salute! And wait for the museum to open. So I'm still standing here in front of the museum waiting for it to open, but one of these little dragon things is right here at the bottom of the pillar. He has no head, but he's so cute. Here's one with a face. Awesome. Awesome. You can touch these. They're just here at the bottom of the pillars. So cool. Okay, this is notes for when we go to edit the video. We were just saying that sometimes it's a matter of importance and where you should spend your money because she would rather skimp on dessert and, um, and sa save five dollars and use it for a cab right. and I will walk for an extra mile and a half to hunt down a thirty-two dollar book and drop the money and not even think twice about it but I don't want to pay for a cab so it's a matter of perspective and what's important and tips remember to do tips whenever we are editing the video tip number one do not come to Italy in the summertime because you will melt tip number two Stephanie's tip either have money for a cab or budget money for a cab and my tip is or be prepared to take the bus and the train and walk all right so we are in line to go into the Borghese I didn't see all this before walking up because I was too close to the building this is the actual front of the museum and we thought the door was right there so we were kind of up on the steps waiting and then everyone started lining up down here and the actual entrance is way down here you have to go downstairs to get into that little blue door and to go into the museum we were standing way up there so it's 9 15 actually almost 9 20 and the Borghese Museum is supposed to open the gate is actually supposed to open at 8 45 to let people in to get their tickets it's now 9.20 and the gate is not open, the door is not open. It looks like there's nobody here. And someone in line overheard that there may be a strike and that the museum may not open at all today. So we're stuck here waiting to figure out what the hell is going on, if we're going to get into the museum or if we wasted our time and money. Poor Stephanie has given up. <laughs> I'm waving to her as she's... I don't think she saw me, but she's given up and she's resting on the bench. <laughs> because we've been standing in line for uh, about 35 minutes now. Okay, here's one of the things I hate about living in Italy. Oh, we've been standing here in line. We were here early. We have our tickets online already. We are prepared. Then we get here and they're not going to open today until after one and someone just came out and made an announcement and said uh, that they're not opening until one and our tickets are from 9 to 11 and because our tickets are from 9 to 11 they won't be good at one o'clock they won't honor them which is really fucked up at the Borghese Museum people are really pissed off they just came out and posted this sign and it says the museum is closed until 1 p.m. for workers assembly lack of payments they just posted this and now they're saying they're not going to honor our tickets people are pissed off she's just trying to go back inside and not answer our questions if we come back at 1 o'clock our 9 a.m. tickets will be honored and we'll be able to get in with the 9 a.m. tickets? Yes, no problem. Okay, grazie. Okay, so they're saying that if we come back at, nine, at 1 o'clock when they finally decide to open, hopefully, maybe, could be. Excuse me, what yes. she said about the ticket? She said if we come back at 1 o'clock with our 9 a.m. tickets that they'll be honored. And I said, are you sure? And she said yes, no problem. So honored we in the sense that we get to like, get in front of the people that were sitting there. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I have no idea. This is Italy. I don't know if you've been here before. Yeah, but, but I, I, I thought you asked that. So I'm not sure. No, I, I didn't ask about that. She's trying to get away from people. She's not trying to answer questions. I had to like lean into the door for her to even respond. So she said they'll honor the tickets, so I would be here early so that you get in line. 
just 9 a.m. tomorrow or uh, today in the evening? Today, if we come back today at 1, 3, or 5, they're supposed to honor our 9 a.m. tickets. Okay? Thanks. You're welcome. But I'd be here early and get in line first. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. For you too. Thank you. So, yeah, that's the deal. Who knows? I'm not happy. None of those people, everybody's pissed off. And the girl was like trying to get in the door. She was standing outside the door. And then she like tried to back into the door because everyone was asking her questions and getting more pissed off. Understandably so. So we'll see. We may or may not come back at one o'clock. We'll see. Probably at one o'clock. All right, so I talked to the lady again. And she said if we come back at one or three o'clock this afternoon, we will not have priority. They'll let us in. We have to be in line just like everybody else and they'll let us in. Look at this fountain real quick. I don't know if it's on camera, but look at this fountain. Anyway, so uh, we will not have priority. We'll just have to wait in line like everybody else to get in. And they do not do refunds. The issue said it's impossible to get a refund. You have to just come back. Today only, you can't come back tomorrow. Even though they fucked up and they've screwed us, we are the ones now that have to pay. <sighs> Shit like this drives me insane. Okay, listen, I'm not gonna say a word, just listen. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Is that birds? Is it bugs? What the fuck is that? I'm not happy. So we've been sitting on a bench here in Borghese Park for about 15-20 minutes. And we are now wandering through the park. I looked up some things on TripAdvisor and found that there's supposedly a beautiful water clock somewhere here in the garden. So. I asked for directions and we are making our way in the general direction of the hopeful water clock. We have to go past the fountain with the horses <laughs> and then go straight and then take a left somewhere down there. But I'm not sure where. Fountain is awesome. So we're still walking and making our way towards the water clock, and we're just talking. And Stephanie said this is like a little piece of paradise to her. There's no crowds. It's a nice uh, place to walk where there's not a lot of people. There's you know, it's a garden, it's serene, it's very calming to her. <laughs> this is hell to me. <laughs> this is paradise to her and it's hell to me because I like to be where there's stuff to do. And we were just talking and I said, being here, when we're in Rome and there's so much culture and you know, so many things to do and see, I feel like being here is a complete waste of time. And she oh says God. she would rather be here than to be in the city and bounce and go to this and go to that and yeah. then go to the next thing I mean, and be around all the people. And this, and this. So she wants me to show you where we are. We're in the middle of nowhere. No, it's a gar It's a whole garden. There's paths and everything. It's not like we're in the middle of nowhere. That's we're not in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of a garden. A massive garden. Did you show them the only trees? Look, yes, they see the trees. <laughs> Uh, I'm showing. Mountains, fashions. There's cicadas or something in the trees. People We're, walking their dogs, yep. bicycle riding. I'm in heaven right now. This is so much better than the awful <laughs> Rome streets with graffiti and garbage everywhere. And bleh. oh my god, yeah, this is my heaven right here. I, I even tell her, 
I want my hotel to be near something like this because then I come out of my hotel and I can walk these grounds and she's like, what? Yeah, I said, no, I want my hotel to be right in the center of where everything is happening. That way I can just walk a few minutes here and there, take a bus over there, and I get to see everything in one place. <laughs> yeah. We are totally different. Complete opposite ends of the spectrum on this here. <laughs> We're just learning this about like, our friendship. Yeah. <laughs> We're either still going to be best friends when this trip is over, or one of us will be dead. That's it. There's no in between. It's either best friends, connected for life, or one of us is dead. <laughs> we still haven't found the water clock, but... In searching for the bathroom that we still haven't found, we stumbled across this pond. Oh, look, this is where the boat rental is. We should rent a boat. There's like ducks and pigeons and gorgeous fountain. Oh, my phone is ringing. <laughs> Sorry, I was off camera. I guess that's the bathroom over there, maybe. Oh, that's the thing for the boat. That's the boat rental, but we can ask them where the bathroom is. talk. We found the fountain. Finally. I'm livid. We're standing somewhere in Bohemian Gardens, able to overlook the city. I don't know how much of that you can see in the camera, but we're able to overlook a lot of Rome from this point. There's an obelisk. I remember the word obelisk and a piazza down there, but I don't know what it is. This is another angle, looking across, because I was standing over there, and I'm standing over here. Stephanie says this is jackpot. She found an overlook, and she's happy. She said she wanted a view like this. 
and we stumbled upon one. For me right now, this is the best thing in the garden. This is making me very happy.